Prithee, what be this infernal contraption? <laughs> well, if it pleaseth thou... Can the crab just tell me straight? <laughs> Covert Bailey is on the show, and you'll be demonstrating the new Slimnasium 2. How's it work? Well, like... like this. <laughs> and if you want to go faster? Oh, yeah. More thrust. What if you want to add a bounce? Oh, yeah. Well, you just... Hey! <laughs> you never read Tom Sawyer, did you? <laughs> You're a pixie. Yeah. Hey, guys, sorry I'm late. I had back-to-back -back perms at the salon. Shame on you, Hope, for not telling me this was a Gloria day. Gloria, hallelujah. <laughs> now, why is it Gloria, hallelujah, and not Hope, Hope, hooray? <laughs> hope, Hope, hooray? Boy, the egos you have to deal with in this business. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Gloria. Have your way with me. You want to be oiled, fluffed, or gelled? Gel me, baby. <laughs> Hope when you reach your target heart rate, maybe you'd like to begin your professional day. My skirt is caught. <laughs> thing. Jack Lane doesn't need one of these, and he can pull a boat with his teeth. He very rarely wears a skirt oh. while exercising. To the best of our knowledge. Watch it, Dennis. He may be 80, but he can still kick your butt. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'll go get your gel, lover boy. I have fun with her. She has fun with you, too. No, really. I mean, I have a lot of fun with Gloria. She has a lot of fun with you. I would like to have more fun. <laughs> well, that's fine. We'll have her back. Oh. Thank goodness. I didn't know how many more ways I could put it. So, uh, you think she likes me? <laughs> what is this, Dennis? Junior high? <laughs> if it is, I'm the only boy with a Jaguar XJS. <laughs> Go on, ask her. No, I'm not gonna ask her. You ask her. Uh-uh. Uh. -uh. Uh. No, boss, employee, gray area, Bob Barker, the price was wrong. No. <laughs> no, I'd like you to find out, you know, if she'd be interested in a, you know, a... A date? <laughs> Your word, not mine. Well, you know, find out, check it out, and if you sense she's interested, let me know. If you sense she's not, then... Mm, I know, I know. Twist the conversation so that you appear unavailable. I love you. Yeah. In a completely non-sexual way. Oh, nothing great about that. Howdy doody. Daddy! Yes, indeedy. <laughs> We wanted to surprise you. Well, yay! Yeah, oh, my gosh. Well, so, how was the big Winnebago trip? Fantabulous. We saw every state in the contiguous 48. And we have the souvenir spoons to prove it. Except for Wyoming. Come on, drop that down the garbage disposal. Yes, <laughs> got all chewed up. Well, it gives us a reason to go back. <laughs> There's way too much happiness in this room. This must be the parents. <laughs> I'd like you to meet Gloria Utz, Mom, Dad. Oh, Gloria, the little divorced girl. <laughs> We've heard so much about you. You know, we don't know you very well, but we feel very sorry for you. <laughs> Daddy, dear. No. Oh, uh, don't say no. I know it's tough being a single mother. I wasn't going to say no. I got another palm. <laughs> That sassy mouth you told us about. Oh, well, well, you know, sassy's a, a mom word. Mine was sarcastic. <laughs> potato, potato. Uh, speaking of whichever, we spent six days in Idaho. Brought back a potato as big as your head. <laughs> you and Jeffrey are free for dinner, I hope. Uh, tonight? Uh, um, yes, I'm certainly free. Well, if you're free, Jeffrey is certainly free. Gloria, you know, these two, ever since high school, they've been like frick and frack. Jeffrey? He's frick. Uh, hey, 
Hey, you guys, you haven't seen my office since I got my new Macintosh. When I was in the workforce, this was your database. I can still tell you the price of gypsum in $1980. Four thirty-two tons. <laughs> your father and his gypsum. <laughs> Wild guess. You haven't told your parents that you split up with Jeffrey. Well, I was going to tell them two months ago when he first left, but, well, they just started on their Winnebago trip. Oh! Uh, oh, uh, gee, oh, I think it's stuck. Just a sec. And after more time went by, I was going to tell them, but then they'd say, you know, why didn't you tell us earlier? And then still more time went by, and, well, that would be now. Well, I guess I'll just gel myself. That... No, Dennis, no! <laughs> Gets him every time. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> uh, just a little shot of WD-40. You'll be right back in business. Oh. You know, <laughs> we visited the WD-40 plant in San Diego, California. Quite a tour. And SeaWorld. Talk about your full day. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, Mom, uh, Daddy, uh, I, I, I've been meaning to say this, and I, I don't know why I didn't tell you earlier. There's really no excuse, but... Uh, a potato as big as my head! Oh, my <laughs> the reward. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, let me help you out. Oh, thank you, Lewis. Yeah, wait, wait a sec. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, let me help you out with that. Can't stop selling. Top salesman this month wins a trip to Orlando. Can't you just see me and Sonny uh, in Disney World? Oh, you just gotta go there. You just gotta. It's the happiest place on earth. <laughs> oh, let's see, which we carpet. Uh, I know my bedroom. You're a tough nut to crack, but sold. Lewis, <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I get it. My ex-husband, the world's worst salesman, meets my friend, the biggest sucker on earth. What will happen? Let's watch. Uh, Gloria, this isn't about selling rugs. This is about making a little boy's Disney dreams come true. Yeah, and Sonny will enjoy it, too. Hey, where is Sonny? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he's with my parents. So they can lavish on him the attention they neglected to give me. Hey, I like this one. Well, you have great taste. And great timing, because this happens to be the last day of our, uh, of our Ultron Consolidated Mills multi-level loop sale. Hey, hey, Lewis, that's, you just sold me a bedroom full of carpet. What are you gonna do next? <laughs> I'm going down to the store to write up the invoice. Just takes the wind right out of it, does it? What you making? Salad. Mom and Dad are bringing over steaks they've had on dry ice since Omaha. Their free introductory gift for joining the Red Meat of the Month Club. You don't eat meat. Or is that something else you haven't told your parents? I know, I know I have to tell them. I, I just don't know how. How did you tell your parents that your marriage was over? Lewis told them. My parents and Lewis are like frickin' frack. He's frack. Are you mocking my mom? <laughs> Look, it's easy. You just sit him down calmly and say, I'm sorry, folks. Jeffrey's gone. I'm okay. Pass the potato. <laughs> hey, will you tell them for me? I'll be your best friend. <laughs> what is this, junior high? Oh, oh, speaking of that. <laughs> okay, Dennis likes you. Do you like him? <laughs> Dennis? Your Dennis? <laughs> He's not my Dennis, but he could be yours. <laughs> oh, uh, we'll discuss later. That's them. No, wait, come on, tell me now. Dennis likes me? <laughs> well, I'll tell you after study hall. <laughs> Hello, huh? 
honey bunny bean bag. Oh, dear. Oh, Bob, look, the little divorced girl's here. Well, I guess it's gonna cost me another 20. Oh, no, keep it, Bob. You'll kick me into another tax bracket. I know you guys haven't seen Hope in a while, and she's got a lot to catch you up on. Uh, no, just stick around. You know, I mean, in case I forget, you can help me fill in the details. <laughs> now, Gloria, you can't say no to these. <laughs> Come on, stay for meat. <laughs> Still anti beef, little girl. Daddy, if you'd seen the films of how they kill those cows. All right, now please, let's not start this conversation again before dinner. I like mine blood rare. <laughs> Their death move sounds like a scream. <laughs> now, Hope, I mean it. Honey, I warmed up the tater. All I have to do is. <laughs> even bigger than your head. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's not really what we're here for, is it? Uh, no, 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 it's not. Uh, <clears throat> Mom, Daddy, but before we start cooking, let's talk. Uh, I don't want to go through the whole meal and this whole evening without letting you know what's going on. M Mom, would you put down the potato? <laughs> I'll hold it for you, Mother. Uh, why don't you guys um, sit down? Oh, yeah. Well, Oh, I'll get it. Thanks. Uh, you see, it's um, about Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Yes, Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Yes, Jeffrey. Hi, honey, I'm home. Jeffrey! <laughs> Jeffrey, give us a hug. <laughs> Jeff? Bob? Oh, scruffly. Very Miami Vice. <laughs> you know, Lisa Gibbon says that Don Johnson's got a new series, 22 episodes guaranteed. <laughs> you know, he and that little Melanie are so cute. Don't you just wish that they would patch things up or just forget the whole thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh... Jeffrey, could I um, speak to you a moment in private? Uh, sure. Why don't we go in the bedroom? <coughs> uh, no, not the bedroom. The kitchen. <coughs> no, I mean the uh, toilet. Thank you. That really is more appropriate. What? I had something in my throat. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I hope I just thought... No, wait, wait. Well, I... Talk quick. I don't want them to hear us. Talk while it's whooshing. Well, you know that I've been seeing a therapist. Wait, and wait. I... Oh. Okay, go ahead, but talk quick. This is very cold. Well, I miss you. I've decided to come home. Well, I need more of an explanation than that. No, I don't want to hear your excuses. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look, all I know is that my parents are out there right now, and they think that everything between us is just super de duper. So from now on, let's just, you know, we'll, we'll put on a happy face, and we'll go out there and enjoy our big potato and mercilessly slaughtered beef. Okay. Uh, you should probably wash that hand. What is he doing here? He came back. Do you believe it? I mean, I was just about to tell my parents he was gone, and then he just walks in. I mean, it's like, hello, weird. <laughs> what, do you think it's some sort of sign? Okay. <laughs> You've already bought carpet today. Don't be a sucker twice. Oh, Gloria, I appreciate your concern. You're a good friend, but you're bitter. <laughs> Everything's on, and it just smells super de duper. Hey, Hope. Sorry to bother you during the dinner hour, but I just got to take some measurements. Mmm, mmm, mmm. sure it smells good. Louis, would you like to join us for steaks? Uh, I wouldn't dream of imposing. Here to work. 10 by 13. You got any horseradish? <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Harlow, this is Louis, my ex-husband. Oh, well, aren't we all just fine and civilized? <laughs> uh, perhaps we should join hands and say grace. Grace? It's their version of turning down the TV. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Dear Lord, we thank you for the food that we're about to eat and for the wonderful family and friends that surround this table tonight. You decided to come home? 
Amen. <laughs> Thank you for it, Mom, everybody. But you decided, like it's your decision. Your decision was to walk out of here the day after our 10th anniversary, but you don't get to decide when you come back. I get to decide when you come back. We'll talk about this later. Hope and Jeffrey have split up? First I've heard of it. <laughs> Hello. Did you ask her yet? <laughs> Dennis, this is not a good time. Oh, I see. Is she there? Yes. Well, go on, ask her. I, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Oh. No, for goodness sake! Tell her about my Jaguar. Where, where was I? You decide when he comes back. Uh, that's right. I decide when you come back. And, uh, you know, things aren't the way they were before, Jeffrey. Uh, I mean, you know, before it was always Hope and Jeffrey. One word, you know, like uh, Ben and Jerry or Siegfried and Roy. I love them. <laughs> Since you left, I've become hope. No and, no Jeffrey, just hope, period. And I've done things. I, I, I had a party and I met someone, you know, I kind of liked and I had a date and, and I made a friend, a really, really, really good friend. And that friend is me. <laughs> I like myself a whole big bunch. And I, I, I don't have to make things easy for you anymore, Jeffrey Davidson. So, excuse me, Mom, Daddy. Get the hell out of my house. Maxine, Bob, you don't want me getting up. <laughs> Free to just keep on eating, Lewis. <laughs> Mom, these are the most delicious lemon bars in the whole wide universe. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's just like everything just tastes so much better to me now that I'm in charge of my own life. <laughs> Was she like this as a kid? <laughs> she was head of the pep squad. In fact, her school didn't even have a pep squad until she started one. <laughs> Actually, just her and a couple of girls who couldn't keep up. <laughs> I just feel good. <laughs> well, you've got that great friend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you mind if I spit this out in my napkin? <laughs> I just couldn't swallow it. Oh, Mom, Daddy, I've really let you down. Oh, honey, no, you haven't. You've just been on a rocky road and all alone, and where'd I put those lifesavers? <laughs> Such such a wonderful example for me. I mean, you have the perfect marriage. You gave me a perfect childhood. And now my marriage is in ruins. I lied to you. Bob, uh, why don't you look at some of Lewis's carpet samples for the Winnebago? Hey, great. 30 more yards and Sonny and me do Disney World and the Big Red Boat. <laughs> do you have something that prevents slippage? Mother took a terrible tumble down New Mexico way. <laughs> but the girls want to be alone, but... Uh... Maxine did fall on her behind. She got a strawberry the size Bob? of... Bob! We're out of here. <laughs> Gloria, dear. Yes, Mrs. Harlow? Could you leave, too? <laughs> sure. I've got coffee at home. Uh, walk me. Oh. I'm really proud of you, kid. You stood up for yourself. I'm sorry about before. You're not bitter. You're a really good friend. You're one of the best friends I've ever had. I mean, you always tell me what I need to know, and you always have my best interest at heart, and I should just listen to you. I agree with all that. <laughs> Except for one thing. I really am bitter. <laughs> Thanks for the meat. So sorry. Oh, hope now. No, no apologies, honey. Hope, I, I want to have a little talk with you. 
I wasn't going to tell you this, but you're a woman now. Oh, M Mom, we already had that talk in the seventh grade, remember? <laughs> By the way, you know, part of that information was a little misleading. <laughs> a different kind of a talk, Hope. This talk is about me and your daddy. And I'm only telling you because I want you to know that I'm not perfect either. Your daddy and I hit a bump in our marriage when I was 22. See, I was just like you. I'd gotten married really young. I'd never even dated another man. I got some kind of bug up my bonnet. And I just took off. I bought a Greyhound bus ticket and I rode all the way to Los Angeles, California. While I was out there, I acted like a crazy person. Oh, God, I can't even believe I'm telling you this, but... Uh... Hope, I was... Oh, sugar. <laughs> I was intimate with another man. You? Yes. I could never forgive myself for it either, but thank goodness your daddy did forgive me. And hope I could never love anybody the way I love him and you kids. Wow. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm glad you told me. I mean, I, I felt like I had to hide what was going on in my life from you, but now you know everything about me and I know everything about you. Wow. Well, there is one more thing. <laughs> what? Hope, the man out there buying carpet for his Winnebago is your daddy. Hmm. But the man in Los Angeles, California, that was your father. <laughs> Paternity Suit, now backstage on NBC's Hope and Gloria with a very special guest. Well, this show is all about me. Me. Na, 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 na. Ser seriously, I, pl I play Adam West. I hear your dad's Batman. Which is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> to get under my skin. Is it possible? Find out tonight after Seinfeld on NBC.